Final Fantasy 8 fans are taking L's all f***ing over, bro. This motherfucker had a mental break and decided to relive, I guess, the Squall is dead theory and attack Dave Chappelle. Like, yo, this dude had gun blades on him. What the f***? I didn't even know these shits existed. Revolver style and shit. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me see. <laughs> this who attacked Dave Chappelle last night, bro. This man. This man right here. Yo, he, I think he even had a wallet chain too. Like you see how Squall has like, the, uh, obviously he's got the Nomura belts and stuff like that and crazy ass gun blade. It doesn't even seem like he started telling jokes. He was just uh, giving everybody shout outs here, telling them what's going on and how uh, the DJ in the back, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll go back and listen. He didn't even like full on tackle Dave, but he gets crazy, right? Like obviously pandemonium happens. People are in the back actually stomping that dude out. Wait, I gotta see this. They, they dropped some mics and he's like, yo, I gotta get some licks in. They're actually beating the shit out of this dude right here. JB Fox, Dave Chappelle's family, security guards. Dave Chappelle himself is probably getting some kicks in as well. He's wearing some pretty white shoes. They're stomping the dirt out of this motherfucker. Dave comes back. He's back there getting stomped. He actually is. That's that's scary, man. His whole family was there, bro. His whole family was there watching him, uh, you know, do a show like he normally does. And, and the, something crazy happens that nobody nobody expects. You know, it doesn't even seem like he really started telling any jokes. Maybe he told a couple. This obviously this could be somebody that's very upset over the controversies of what he has said prior in previous stand-ups. Make some noise for hip hop history. That's such this yo, this dude is so small, bro. Like compared to Dave, I don't know. This dude's probably he's probably my height, but like, you know, size-wise, I'm probably a little bit heavier. But <laughs> this man did a sky. <laughs> if you look at this shit, right? This dude actually got some air. He jumped and well, not so much, but like he jumped, he pretty much was like as mid-air as he could comfortably get. Dave was already like slipping it. Right? You know how like in boxing, you're like slipping punches and stuff. He was slipping to tackle. He kind of sort of back away. So the dude didn't really get like a squared up approach with him. So he kind of like slipped the tackle. The dude fell. He tried to push. He tried to get a last second push to push off. And Dave ended up falling too. But it wasn't until the dude fell twice. That's the worst part right here. This is, I don't know. I don't know if this is security or what. But bro, as a security guard, as a security guard, Right, you go a lot of times. Sometimes, some nights you go without any action. Sometimes things like you know go off without a hitch, and that's perfect. But you get one opportunity, one amazing opportunity right here, and for some reason, they didn't decide. They didn't decide to run into this dude's direction of where he was going. They tried to follow him directly, and both of them fell twice on top of each other. Look, slip, slip, fell. Get up. This dude falls again. <laughs> Just like stomping this dude out back here. That is absolutely hilarious. Wait, I gotta see this. <laughs> he goes over there to stomp this guy out. <laughs> Whitey Keefe said, the dude who tried to attack Dave Chappelle last night got turned into a Nicki Minaj pose. Look at his arm, bro. They fucked this dude up. Rightfully so, man. You can't be attacking people at shows and shit, bro. Man, tried to run up on Dave Chappelle and got fucking stomped the fuck out. And the joke is... <laughs> Nicki Minaj actually uh, retweeted it. So shout outs to Keith. You know, his simping was showing over here. I love you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I read this and I read one armed man. I was like, one armed man, what the fuck? We've been waiting for a Will Smith joke from Chris Rock. The opportunity presented itself and he hopped on it accordingly. It actually is, a, it's actually a clip. Was that Will Smith? 
<laughs> Comedic timing. Like, I get, like, what Dave Chappelle has said. It really bothered a lot of communities. He's not saying it with any malice, you know? It's, it's, these things are jokes at the end of the day. And the more people, like, react, like, outrageously, he's just gonna keep telling them even more because that's just what people do in humorous situations. The thing is, I don't even think Dave had even said a joke yet. He just, like, literally came on a stage, bro. <laughs> if you go back and you look at the video when he tackled Dave Chappelle when he's running up on him, nah, he doesn't have a. I mean, I don't know what this is. I thought this was like a wallet chain or some shit. I'm like, yo, he actually went for the squall look, the aftermath, bro. You play fucking stupid games, you win the absolute deserved stupid prices, bro. Don't you ever fucking try to attack somebody. Like, okay, he didn't have a wall chain. It was like a belt hanging down right here. They fucked this dude up, man. I can't wait to understand and learn the backstory behind all of this, dude. Look at his elbow, man. <laughs> Look at the lumps on his head. These lumps are so fucking hardcore that this man's hairline got lifted. He's definitely a Final Fantasy VIII fan, though. I'm just looking at his drip. He's got those trip pants from Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> if you actually look into here and you look into his nostril, you can see that only 30% of people who watch and love these videos are currently subscribed. Sorry for making you zoom in on the nostril. Um, I like to think that he probably had a nose ring here and then they probably like pulled that shit out. <laughs> I imagine that's probably what happened. Hit that subscribe button. Join the channel, guys. Final Fantasy VIII needs, uh, needs help right now, bro. The, fan the fans are in shambles. As of what, after what just went down last night, that is crazy. But we got more Final Fantasy news coming your way. And a PlayStation 5 giveaway is live right now for YouTube members. So head over to YouTube and, uh, you know, join to become a member so you don't miss out on a chance to get a PS5. I got one right here in the back. Right there, that 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 PS5 could be one of y'all's, man. It's definitely, man. He's got the black nail polish on and shit to go with it too. Yo, lumps right here. And they stomped the shit out of this guy. They snapped his arms up, bro. <laughs> Thankfully, Dave Chappelle is safe and his family is safe and everybody at the Hollywood Bowl is safe. Not for nothing, but uh, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna get one of these. Obviously, I'm never gonna use it, but I, yo, this shit's kind of cool. I want to get one of these and like extend the handle like super far so it's like uh it actually like is like a <laughs> unconventional gun blade <laughs> like, get like a little kitchen knife handle right don't fucking go beat up people on stage just because they say some shit or have said some shit in the past that you don't agree with man like just stay on twitter and talk your shit and uh you know get get blocked and muted it's not like a, it was a small event or anything like that this was a big event and the fact that he got through security with this shit bro Look like he had a backpack and everything on too, man. Were these the security guards? Th these were the security guards at the place right now, man. Let that be a lesson. Final Fantasy VIII fan attacks Dave Chappelle. He was gonna tackle Dave and then what? Pull out the, the fucking gun blade and Zantetsuken him or some shit? Like, I don't understand. What, what was he trying to do here? So after the tackle, he gets up and he goes back at Dave, but then he realizes, oh, fuck that shit. Let me try to get out of here. Really thought he was gonna get away but they got more security back there than they do up here clearly and looking at this photo it, it brings a smile to my face it actually does as fucked up as it might be to say hey back up back up back up <laughs> and they're booing him <laughs> got fucked up Honestly, if that dude thought fucking with Dave Chappelle, like, live on stage in front of people was gonna get him clout, wait till he goes into jail, bro. <laughs> we thought he was. <laughs> he brought a knife gun to a gun knife fight and got stomped out. 100%. Knife that's actually a gun is greater than a gun that's actually a knife. <laughs> it's not something anybody should be going through or having to deal with, especially on such a big scale like that, man. Have you been to like concerts and shows like that? They go through some crazy, like when I go to a concert like that, dude, they have the person that does the individual, like, you know, the wand, the metal wand detector, they, they check you and then you go through a metal detector. Either or, you do both. And they pat you down if they detect any type of metal whatsoever. That fucking gun was definitely had some metal on it. So I'm like, did he like maybe throw the bag over the fence or some shit like that at the venue and then come back in? When he went to the event, probably got the bag. I, I don't know. He forgot to draw Chappelle magic. 
I mean, damn, that was a Netflix event, though. And, like, you would think they would have really big top-of-the-line security on top of that shit. Dave Chappelle's gonna get paid for that, man. His life was threatened in front of his family and a bunch of people in the crowd and his employers and all that stuff. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More news news is coming your way and you won't want to miss that. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.